We are going to visit another endpoint, which we will use to create an S3 bucket using Amazon's provided S3 APIs. This time round, we're going to refer to the CLI command reference for AWS. We have selected the S3 API pages, and since we wish to create a bucket, we're going to use the functionality defined and described here. As you may appreciate, with all the endpoints we have referred to, you have a common thread. Even though the command to create the S3 bucket may be synthetically different, the parameters they take are quasi-identical. In fact, one of the best things about AWS's API is that Amazon has projected the API to cater for different technologies and needs. Developers, DevOps, engineers, and then users can interact with an API that is gloved for the environment they are comfortable with and suits their requirements. The command we are going to use is create bucket. If we go into the S3 management console, you will see that we have one bucket being used for another topic. We are going to use AWS CloudShell. CloudShell is a browser-based shell that makes it easier to securely manage, explore, and interact with AWS resources. Bash, Z Shell, and PowerShell are all available through CloudShell. Our demo script is written in Bash. We click the icon to open CloudShell and type out the name of the script we will be executing. The script creates the bucket in EU West 3 region. After pressing enter, we get a reply that the bucket has been created. If we go back into the S3 interface and refresh, you will see that we now have the newly created bucket. The benefits of using CloudShell are that, like other text-based interfaces we explored, it does not rely on where objects are positioned on a page. Unlike an SDK, the script is not associated with a development tool, but scripts are associated with operating systems, with OSs. The choice of scripting language boils down to the direction set by an organization. It makes more sense to focus on a single shell script, rather than have different shell scripts mixed and mashed together. This is because in larger organizations, it allows DevOps teams to borrow and build on existing code using environments they are familiar with. Code in CloudShell resides on the cloud, although AWS allows one to download these scripts. We download the script and if we open it, we will see that it contains the lines that was executed to create our 